What's good people, it's your boy DJ Obi, Global DJ Obi's House Originator, and you're watching MTV Base Sparks. Stay tuned. Oh baby, what did happen? What do you desire? I just want to bob. Kilo require. Mola can West Fargo. I don't deal with change. Now we'll be politician. Collect my body. No say I know. What's up, good people? I go by the name DJ Big N. When you're big, you're big, you're bad. This is MTV Base Fox. Leave your remote control and watch it. Cheers. Obi, Obi. What's good, man? I'm good, bro. What How you been you up been to, man? Chilling, man. Trying to figure out how MTV base got us on the same shit. Yeah, that's no easy feat, man. But we here. Listen, they, they how you all, been, man? I'm chilling. Chilling, man. Working, working, working. What you working, been up working, to? Working, working. working, you know, sculpting culture. I like that. <laughs> so okay, that's a plain word, yeah. Doing things, man. Obi's house, staying busy. Obi's house on a Monday, right? <laughs> yeah, tell them about Obi's house real quick. There were two. They tried to become five. They tried to become hundred. Oh, but you were there from the beginning, though. Yeah, man. But if we don't know, but you know me, I like staying back at the back. You saw it bro, from day one. So. I'll, I'll let you tell the story, you know? I mean, clearly, everyone knows it started from IG Live during the pandemic, you know. When there was no hope. When there was... <laughs> we were looking for oh, Irene. Oh, bro. <laughs> we were looking for Shout Irene. out to G. It's a good, it's a good time, man. Yeah. Said, during pandemic, man. Yo. Like, you know, I just felt like everybody needed some form of hope, you yes. know. Shout out to D-Nice. I saw D-Nice's IG live the minute he went off. Yeah. I hit up Obi. I was like, you know, we have to do this, you know, for the culture. Nigerians are so many. And right. they love Nigerians like to party. And they need to still be entertained. So that started off. Then you did your. We did the versus. We we tapped into the versus. versus. Then you did the room sixty nine. Uh, A lot of people don't even know about. <laughs> Listen, it was supposed to be called room sixty nine. Don't even know his house. <laughs> it started off from. Shout out to the day ones, man. Shout the out to the day ones. ones you know, so Friday, Friday night was Obi's house, and room sixty nine was Sunday. Yes, yeah. But room sixty nine stuck. Or lasted longer than Obi's house because yeah. then every DJ on IG Live started. Oh, so you're doing an IG Live. Exactly. Yeah. And they were doing the club thing and mm. doing parties, party, party, party. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. Room 69 was something different because it was RB, it was for grown folks, it grown was R rated. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a lot Anything of Anything goes, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but I saw they... some people hooked up from Room 69, oh, you know. No. Some people, some people, <laughs> shout out to the pandemic babies. Some people hooked you up. You know, from, but it was just that. strictly for R&B lovers that wanted to listen to R&B music and, and talk their smack online. Exactly, you know? exactly. So we had to get innovative and like, and like work it out, man. But man, you, like I said, you were there from the beginning. But how far are you now? What's going on with you? Man, how, how you, how you know, doing? Trying to make doing? a dollar out of a penny, you know? But, you know, um, dropping singles, you know? Yeah, you know, this music, year for me, stuff. you know, I had to work smart, you know? I'm tired of working hard. Mm. I always tell people, you know, Pause. You know, it's just real. Like, too many people want to DJ, too many DJs. Too many people think they can DJ. So, you know what? We have to step it up a notch. So, yeah. for me, I try to use my social equity, yep. right? I know too many artists, you know? And everybody's like, why don't you know? I used to release singles back then, you know? And I took a break from that because I wanted it to make sense, you know? For me, I was always just the person who was to, exactly, I was always the person who wanted to bring artists who have never worked before. Mm -hmm. So I decided, I said, I want to make it meaningful, you know? Especially with the Gen Z, these new school people, you know? <laughs> I said, who, 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 you know? So I, sh I shout out to Oxley, shout out to Oxy. Arastar. You know, they came through heavy. Yep, 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 like, yep. bro, this year is going to be crazy. Like, artists you've never seen on a record before, I'm gonna it's be in the bag, you know? Like that. So like that's that. why me, I'm working on this year. I'm also going on tour, you know, like, See. trying to touch new places. I mean, like, Rema would say, why can't we shut down India? <laughs> You know, so it is what Professor. it is. You know? Yeah, you know, we're speaking we're to tapping, yeah, so. so enough of that, man. I mean, that's that's well, that's what we've been up to, right? I'll ask you a personal question right now. You know, is it personal. Moving on, tell me, tell me, what's what's the worst thing you've heard about yourself online? Apparently, I'm a I'm a villain online. <laughs> what, like your most wanted? <laughs> I don't even know whether it's most wanted 
almost hidden. I don't know. You, what, for what she was describing, it's like I'm just, I'm this villain. Like, so, like, when people actually meet me, it's very, like, they're very conflicted because, yeah, like, oh, who is this person or why person? And I'm just like, listen, it's social media. You can't take it. But I express myself when I say the truth. We are very much alike because, I mean, I mean, there was a exactly. time where I used to, I, I should have chilled. When you see my Instagram and you see a pink, pink page, no begins about it. It's about something. to go down. Yeah. But for you, you know, I remember one time I was in America, man. You know, I was talking to... Anyway, I'm not going to call the person's name. But, you know, you have, like, some sudden outbursts. What's your problem with Banky? I can't speak about people I don't know, bro. You can't speak what? I can't speak about people I don't know. Okay. I can't speak about... Wow, okay, okay. But outside of expressing myself on social media and just speaking the truth, I guess I've created this villainish villain character online. I'm, I mean, not, I'm, a, day, I'm a nice guy, I promise. See, at the end of the day, <laughs> I stand for peace. Do you feel like there's any like thick beef amongst DJs? Like, why don't you? Why do you think DJs don't necessarily work together? I think you and I are an, exce mm, are an exception well, because normally, yeah, we yeah. are real friends. The thing is, the thing is, that's a good question because yeah. you know, I'm tired. I'm tired of trying to bring DJs together. I'm tired of trying to act like DJs are one. Mm. Here today, don't I'm tired, like really. So yes, there's an, and I don't understand why. You know, like, I don't understand why. You see artists collaborate, right? And if artists are not collaborating, if artists don't like people, they say it real quick. Yeah. So there's no beef that is hidden in, in when it comes to artists. You know, A doesn't like B, yeah. standard. Don't act like you like me and be going to talk some crap about me outside, you know? Roll back to Jimmy's job of 20, 2013, 2012. Ooh. I just came back from London and, oh, right, right, and Jimmy was like, oh, Big Yen, you got to be on this show. I was like, yeah. The person did not know me. Uh, you don't know Big Yen. You just knew me as no show that time. Right. And you were talking about me in a circle where I was. Mm -hmm.